द मोमेंट इट कम्स टू रीडिंग रिसर्च पेपर्स मोस्ट स्टूडेंट्स एंड रिसर्चर्स फाइंड इट बोरिंग and today we want to simplify this process to you we want to simplify and want to make it interesting for you let us discuss the top 10 benefits of reading research papers and how they can make you a better researcher a much more effective bioscientist so let's get started one of the things i have learned in my life is love what you do and love what you have to do okay so love what you do love what you have to do so let us make let us find out how can we make your reading research papers task interesting and find out the benefits of reading research papers starting with number 1 to enhance basic knowledge of scientific facts now even if you are a novice student a newbie researcher or a advanced application scientist the basic knowledge is always helpful and that helps your neurons to wire together and then only they can fire together to achieve greater results in the future it's vital to read research papers and journals to brush up your basics and that's our point number 1 point number 2 to gain familiarity with commonly used or specific subject based scientific tools and techniques now when you want to learn something new you have to start from scratch you have to start from a to reach z So if you want to learn anything new in your field always start from latest research articles and research papers this will increase your familiarity with scientific tools and techniques and also it will help you develop scientific temperament and scientific attitude now these two are very very important ultra necessary for doing research okay that's our point number Now, point number three: to remain up to date with the progressive nature of scientific research or topical problems. Okay, let's talk about this. Now, as you know, you have to know that the business of science is rapidly moving. It's like a rapidly moving wheel, interconnected with several other wheels. okay it's all are interconnected and that means you need to keep yourself up to date with the latest developments and reading research papers helps you do that so i think you got three reasons so far valid reasons to read research papers now coming to number 4 it provides guidance over planning and designing a research experiment or preparing manuscript knowing the standard chronological structure okay which has to be followed now under this point let me elaborate if you ever have researched in any lab in the world you know how important it is to stay organized you know how important it is to follow sops and plan as well you have to design your experiments when you read a research paper you are actually reading somebody else's chronologically ordered structure of someone's experiment right and this helps you design your own experiment in a much better way so that's a win win situation point number 5 improves scientific literacy which will aid in writing and compiling research papers of the future now let me take it this way as a research scholar some day you will have to publish your own research right and that means you need to be scientifically literate you need to know how things are done 
and of course uh, there are of course a lot of courses about scientific writing on biotechnic also we have a course in scientific writing a lot very popular course which can help you j- do just that however reading more and more research papers helps you develop this scientific knowledge and literacy so you will know what kind of papers will get accepted how to write that paper number 6 improves critical thinking abilities by looking at the author how the author has performed or presented the experiment or research right so when you actually read the research paper you get an idea about it right i have said this earlier also neurons that wire together fire together right so when you read research papers develop you develop a scientific temperament and you develop scientific aptitude which is built on the experimental approaches of other people and this just not enhances your researching capabilities but also your research acumen your research capabilities helps you accelerate your experiment speed it has got a double benefit here right doing just one thing reading research paper you get a double bonanza so it's a win win situation again point number 7 to get a comprehension of rankings and impact factors of renowned scientific journals now when you refer to research papers from multiple sources okay there's that there's that many multiple journals you are studying from you develop a deep domain expertise you develop a deep domain understanding also you get to know the ranks and impact factors of various journals around you now this helps you apply to the right journal whenever you decide to write and submit your own research paper so that way you get acceptance faster right so again it's a win win situation number 8 to gather scientific literature evidence in context with your area or topic of research now this is a no brainer yes of course this is the way this is the only reason most people read research paper because of course they have to you know do their experiment and cite somebody else's work you will be able to cr- gather credible scientific evidence to support your own research when you cite somebody else's research paper you actually reflect that you have done your own research right and that way you develop credibility for yourself number 9 helps to get expertise in exploring academic databases like pubmed or other search engines using exact keywords now this is a famous line i always say to my colleagues in biotechnica and this line is if you do not ask the right question even google cannot give you the right answers right and that means you need to develop deep expertise in choosing the right keywords while researching on pubmed or other academic databases the more you research the better you get at, get at it okay and that's called again double bonanza offer you search more of course your scientific acu- scientific acumen improves and of course you know how to do your research number 10 helps in building and strengthening formal connections with other researchers sharing common research interests now let me share my story with you every research paper has a contact email address you know that right of the researcher who has published that paper right now this is a huge networking benefit it's a new huge networking opportunity you can send an email congratulating the researcher who wrote that research paper you can ask even ask relevant questions and of course you can connect with them on linkedin i will tell you my story now so when i was researching a particular topic i bumped into a researcher postdoctoral student he wo- he was that time in sweden we became great friends and later on he joined biotechnica and he taught our students for many 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 years so that means a lot can happen over research papers and of course a cup of coffee
right? Like we say in Cafe Coffee Day, isn't it? So there you have it. Top 10 reasons I gave you that will compel you, that will convince you to start reading research papers today. And I know a lot of you will ask this question, how to get access to it? It's effortless. Just ask your professor, colleagues, or university librarian. They will guide you. They'll guide you through. However, if you have more questions on this topic, please ask us below and we will be right here to help you. Thank you once again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Once again, bye-bye.